Oh, what's going on guys? As you can see, beautiful weather out here in the Netherlands. Very rare occasion, as I mentioned in the previous video. Just here enjoying some good fruits and some coffee with the babe. <laughs> and I wanted to quite, kind of uh, cover a topic that's pretty well known when it's on these hot summer days and that's uh, having trouble getting in your nutrition for the day. Uh, because a lot of people have struggles with getting in their food intake when it's so hot outside and, you know you should just try to focus on the total calorie intake for the day and not like focusing on eating every two hours or every hour every half hour every two seconds whatever you want to focus on uh, because that's all like neglectable you know the only thing that really matters is getting that total caloric intake for the day in hitting your macros in your calories gave you the same progress as you would with like focusing on eating every two hours which is really neglect all right guys so i finally decided to get a haircut looks way better right anyways i'm going to the gym right now I'm going to hit a workout with my buddy tom this is actually the first time that we're going to hit a lower body session together so i'm excited to see how it goes oh and by the way just a little update on how the cut is going after the uk i'm pretty much back to my original state of leanness or shredness or whatever you want to call it uh, so i'm probably going to start reverse dieting uh, one of these coming days uh, just start over uh, so i'm going to add 25 carbs on top of my diet which will put me at 350 carbs uh, somewhere around 2800 calories and then increase the calories with 100 aka 25 carbs each week until i'm back at like maintenance or my lean bulking calories <music> reps <laughs> uh, but I noticed that I got um, a little bit of an achy knee on my right side and sometimes on my left side so instead of like dropping the weight drastically and just continuing doing my normal form I'm just doing uh, some pass reps uh, since I noticed that when I do pass reps I have like zero discomfort at all uh, so instead of you know keep hassling around I'm just gonna do whatever my body allows me to do and stick to pass reps five by five with a belt for extra safety.
right guys i wanted to guide you guys through my lower body day since i never really like commentated over one of my leg days or like rarely show them anyway so in this lower body workout me and my buddy tom did some squats uh both did five by five uh, five sets of five reps tom has been dealing with some squat issues so i decided to help him out and uh commented on his form that he shouldn't go below parallel because his heels would like leave the floor and that probably has to do with some uh, ankle flexibility or mobility uh, so if you have that issue then just you know go as deep as you can go without your heels leaving the floor but anyways uh, so i did 140 kg for a 5x5 five five paused reps uh, so like i mentioned in the video uh, when i did the normal standard reps uh, you know touch and go uh, i felt some discomfort in my knees um, sometimes not all the times but when i felt that you know i had to like contemplate on quitting the workout or the squat workout early uh, so i decided to stick to pause reps for a while or at least i'm gonna build up my strength with these pause reps so that i can uh, squat comfortably and not be like focusing too much on what hurts and what i'm able to do and such so after squats we moved on to stiff legged deadlifts with the dumbbells uh, now i kind of alternate between doing them with a barbell and with dumbbells uh, simply because i really like the stretch and the squeeze that you can get with uh, the dumbbells uh, but i also like the contraction that you get with the barbell so you know it's just personal preference and i like to roulette between one of the two uh, and this workout we decided to do some dumbbell stiff legged deadlifts simply because they're a, a bit less taxing uh, since the squats took a lot out of us uh, and on my lower body B workout uh, with, on which I do on Saturday I do barbell stiff legged deadlifts anyway so this workout we did stiff legs with the dumbbells uh, I believe we did four sets of 10 repetitions uh, I never really go above 10, I never really dip below 10 either, I just 10 reps is my kind of like sweet spot for stiff legged deadlifts. Then we moved on to walking lunges, uh, now this is also an exercise that I like to roulette between. Uh, on my lower body A workout I like to stick to lunges, uh, since I do squats as my compound which kind of gives me enough quad stimulation in my opinion, so I try to pick a isolation exercise in this case lunges that uh, stimulate a little bit more of the hamstrings and the glutes instead of uh, mainly quad dominant like the leg press uh, and on my deadlift day which is my lower body B workout I like to stick to leg press since I don't really get any quad stimulation out of deadlift so dude. Gino is training uh, biceps over here. Biceps for Morris, as we would like to call it in Ad. Now keep in mind with this exercise, I'm pointing my toes forward to take the gastrocnemius out of it and get a full stretch and contraction from all the hamstrings. Three to four sets, 12 reps, painful. I rule between lying hamstring curls and seated hamstring curls. Uh, this is also like personal preference uh, sometimes you know I really stick to seated and sometimes I really stick to lying hamstring curls but either one is fine and just do the exercise that you feel the best and that you feel most comfortable with uh, so I believe we did three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions if I'm not mistaken uh, and you know just really focusing on the form I point my feet forward so that I don't uh, take my gastrocnemius, my calf muscle, into the movement so that I can really isolate my hamstrings which is what you want with a hamstring curl, <laughs> obviously. Right, and last but not least for the leg workout we did some calves uh, and again I switched between a standing calf raise and a seated calf raise since standing calf raises take more of the gastrocnemius which is the calf muscle that pops out and you know at the back of your leg and the seated one stimulates more of the soleus muscle uh, which is a muscle that's not really visible from the outside but makes your calf muscle pop out a little bit more so did four sets of 10 repetitions with a small stretch of like five seconds at the end of the movement and last but not least 
to finish off the workout we did some abs uh, in this case we did hanging leg raises four sets of 10 repetitions uh, now I like to alternate between uh, hanging leg raises since I feel a really good stretch and contraction and cable crunches to get a little bit more of a uh, overload stimulation since you can put a lot of weight onto it Nee, ik heb thuis dan. <laughs> How much protein, bro? Just a dip. Hmm. Which one should I pick? The wise one. <laughs> All right, guys. Post workout time. I'm gonna snack on some peanut butter on a sandwich. Sandwich with peanut butter. Excuse me. And some frozen fruits. With some Greek yogurt, high protein, high fat, high carb, great post-workout meal. Uh, afterwards I'm going to work on some clients uh, that I got from my online coaching. If you're interested, link is down in the description to apply. I wanted to touch on some questions that I've got recently on my Instagram, uh, which has been growing like crazy. If you want to follow me, here's my Instagram. Go ahead and follow me, I'll post every single day uh, regarding informational posts updates on my physique whatever so if you want to follow me here's my instagram uh, but they but i've gotten a lot of questions about arm training and what exercises are specifically needed for biceps triceps volume frequency whatever uh, so i'm going to be making a full guide to bigger arms video it's just the same as i did with delts back and chest uh, so the fourth one is going to be arms i'm going to start making the video so it'll be up in like uh, a couple of weeks Give me some time you know to edit because i really put a lot of effort into those videos so that video is becoming really soon now it's time to eat this post-workout meal answer some clients and sip on this monster man highly needed post-workout caffeine i literally just can't get over how aesthetic this looks Next meal, some tomato soup. I'm actually having a refeed today and I couldn't access the kitchen. Come to my friend's house. He's giving me some Chinese tomato soup. She actually hasn't got any bad macros either. I believe it was 100 cals. Uh, 170. 170 calories, 25 carbs, something six fat, something Four or five protein, I don't know, I'll look it up on my fitness pal. Yeah. Oh, and major key to fat loss. Put some shiracha in there for the extra metabolism. <laughs> Alright guys, I have one more meal left to go. It's almost 12 o'clock at night. I have some macros left, so we'll see how it goes. My pinky look like water, make me see sick. Never had no hustle, don't approach me on some free shit. Did it by myself, so why the fuck would I do a remix? I need no power, fuck with back, cause I don't need it. Dive into the west, I park it. Send it shots, they send it shots on road, I never see them. Right, to finish off this glorious refeed day, I'm having four Snack Jack rice cakes with around 40 grams of chicken fillet and a sandwich with light jelly and some cinnamon to top it off for the extra taste that is it for the vlog of the day i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to smash that thumbs up button because it really helps out the channel grow 
comment down below what you thought and what you would like to see next. Subscribe to the channel for so much more content coming really soon. I'm out guys and peace out. See you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>